Hi, and welcome back to day 16 of the 25 days of surplus. Throughout the 25 days, I pitched to you that surplus means value. That also has to do with picking out a nice concealed carry option. I'm going to show you just a few options here on the table that I've either carried personally or I know someone that carries and that they trust. So starting over here, we have the two in 32 auto. First, we have the Yugoslavian Model 70, um, a great little pistol for the longest time. These were under a hundred bucks, albeit they come caked in the most amount of Cosmoline I've ever seen in my life. These are still available at a reasonably low price. So um, if you're looking for something really budget that still shoots well and is pretty solid, this is definitely an option. Next up, one of my personal favorites, the Czechoslovakian VZ70. The VZ-70 and its older counterpart, the VZ-50, are really nice concealed carry handguns. They have a really nice and comfortable grip. They shoot really well, really smooth, um, and they're quite accurate. So um, one of my personal favorites to carry, and this is definitely something I've carried more than a couple times. Moving into the 9x18 Makarov, oddly enough, we start with the Makarov. Um, the Makarov is actually a surprisingly popular concealed carry option, much more than I originally thought um, when I started doing it. But there is a lot of uh, market availability for things like holsters and accessories for this. So um, these aren't as much of a value as they used to be when they were a lot cheaper, but I still think that they're a good uh, starter handgun for concealed carry. I carried this for a while to, before I upgraded to a more modern option. So. And then finally, we have the Polish P64. Um, one of my closest friends carries one of these religiously, refuses to upgrade to a modern gun. He just can't get over how well it shoots, how comfortable it is to shoot. Um, so if you can take his word for it, it's, it's definitely a solid option. So one more to consider. So, all right, you've decided to pick one of these four or any other. What are you gonna shoot out of it? Is there ammunition availability? Well, yes, PPU, oddly enough, makes defensive ammunition for both 32 auto, 9x18 Makarov, and even a 7.62 Tokarev if you decide you want to carry around a Tokarev every day. So um, there's a few other companies that make options in both of these calibers, so there is actually no shortage of uh, options to choose from. So like I said, if you're considering a value carry gun, why not look surplus? Thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you for the rest of the 25 days of surplus. So long.